You are about to receive an invitation to a birthday party. Okay, so where's the invitation? That was it. The confetti spelled it out. We were kind of blinded by the explosion. Just close your eyes. Oh my gosh, it's burned into our retinas! Come to Masami's birthday party. Dude, this, this is, is bad. bad. I know, I've seen it 20 times today. The doctor said it should fade sometime between now and the next 10 years. Have a nice day. <laughs> It's a party. What's not to like? There'll be cake and games and cake. Cake! You don't get it, Mr. Dad. This is Masami. She's like the princess of Elmore Junior High. Everything's got to be perfect. You saw the invitation? Still can. And who knows what will happen if she's disappointed. Her dad's a very powerful man. Do you remember Harry from third grade? I remember Harry. He used to sit behind me in math. Not your third grade, our third grade. I remember him. He gave Masami a pair of toe socks. Big mistake. Masami doesn't have legs. Next thing you know, Harry's dad lost his job at the Rainbow Factory, and the whole family moved out of town. Don't worry. That could never happen to us. I don't have a job. But Mrs. Mom does. We need to get Masami the best gift ever. But what do you get for the girl who has everything? Nothing! <laughs> uh, what about friendship? Isn't being there for someone the most beautiful gift you can give? Or we lie our way out of the party. Yep, much better plan. When the raccoons broke into our house because they started that turf war with the skunks, and while they were fighting, they fell into the shark tank, and then one of the raccoons grabbed the invitees to try to get out, but got eaten anyway, and that's why we can't come to your party. Okay, bye. Oh, hold on a second. You can't come because you lost the invite that was burnt into your retinas? Yes. We'll just have another one. <laughs> See you at the party, I guess. Of course, now that we're double invited. <laughs> <sighs> Could you point us toward the classroom, please? Could you point me toward the exit? <laughs> hey, Masami! Bet you don't know what, pre what present we got you that you would really like. Dude, we haven't got her. You're right, I don't know. But I bet you like to guess what present we got you that you would really like. Eh? Nah, I wouldn't. Please try. Okay, uh, is it the McGraves I saw at the store? No, bye. Was well, it that? Bye. It's just I need something for bye. my. Bye. <sighs> Whatever. What's a McGraves? I don't know, mysterious girl stuff. But at least we know what to buy her. <gasps> McGraves! <gasps> What a coincidence. I hadn't heard of McGraves until Masami said it. And now everyone's talking about them. They were eavesdropping, dude! Come on! Graves, the artist. Yes, we have an original for sale. Great, we'll take it. That's $4,000. What? Where are we going to find $4,000? Oh, no. $4,000 is the title of the painting. It actually costs $20,000. Where are we going to find $20,000? Same place we weren't going to find $4,000. We need to think of something we can actually afford. Or someone. Oh, come on, Alan. All we're asking is to wrap you up, keep you overnight, and then give you as a love gift to Masami. Is that so bad? Actually, now I've said it out loud, it does seem pretty bad. You know my heart belongs to Carmen. Fine, we'll give you $10. Money can't buy love. What about ice cream? Yes, I guess money can buy ice cream. He meant, can ice cream buy your love? You can't buy love or fake love. Love is immaterial, unquantifiable. Love is, uh, guys? <sighs> Love is the butterflies in your stomach. Love is that rush you feel when you, uh, that 
rush you feel when you... Hey, that rush you feel for knowing that there is more to this... Well, I'll 